Let's talk about nuclear. The Earth is home to 450 nuclear reactors that produce electricity. These electricity generation powerhouses produce 11% of electricity globally. In Canada, nuclear energy accounts for 16.5% of total power consumption coming from 22 nuclear reactors, with 19 plants operating in Ontario. Since 1944, Canadian researchers have been at the forefront of peaceful nuclear research. Canadians developed the Canadian Deuterium Uranium Reactor, our high efficiency, low fuel cost reactors that use low grade uranium. We have exported our CANDU reactors to South Korea, Romania, India, Pakistan, Argentina, and China. There are currently three new plants proposed in Canada, and all of them have been deferred. Canadian nuclear operations have proven to be a safe, low emissions, and reliable electricity generation machine. Nuclear plants work like this. Heat is generated when uranium atoms are split. Water is heated from this reaction. The heat is captured and used to power steam turbines, which generates electricity. There are three main concerns with nuclear. Waste, weaponization, and meltdown. Let's start with waste. When a bundle of nuclear fuel is removed from a reactor, they are stored in dry storage containers lined with steel and concrete, which provide an effective barrier from radiation. In some cases, such as the Chalk River nuclear plant in southern Ontario, the nuclear reaction produces medical grade isotopes for use in cancer and heart disease screening across Canada. Nuclear waste can be harmful, and determining the optimal place to put nuclear waste is a challenge, with no perfect solution. Weaponization While we are no longer in the Cold War, the prospect of a rogue nation using a nuclear plant to enrich uranium to weapons-grade uranium is possible. This is only possible with certain types of reactors and higher grades of uranium, but the CANDU reactors do not have this capability. Meltdown while a nuclear explosion is not possible in a nuclear reactor, if the nuclear reaction gets too hot and safety mechanisms fail, the reactors can sustain damage and radioactive material is released. This is a nuclear meltdown. In total, there have been seven accidents resulting in the death of a total 78 people globally. The worst type of meltdown is a category seven meltdown, of which there have been only two in history. Once, in 1986 in Chernobyl, due to human error in shutting down all of the safety features, and once in Fukushima, when a massive earthquake and consequent tsunami damaged the reactor's safety features. Proponents of nuclear energy claim that nuclear reactors have been made safer through new plant designs and that Chernobyl-like human errors can be programmed not to happen with digital technology. Opponents say that there's always a risk of a meltdown. Much of Canada is ideally located for nuclear operations because of its sturdy and seismically inactive landmass. This makes a catastrophe like Fukushima very unlikely. In Canada, there has never been a nuclear reactor incident where citizens have been exposed to lethal levels of radiation, likely due to our strong regulations and selection of locations with a low risk of natural disasters. Nuclear energy produces almost one-third of the emissions of solar and is on par with wind at 29 tons of CO2 equivalent per gigawatt hour. In order to significantly reduce emissions, Canada needs an energy source that fulfills three characteristics. One, it produces low amounts of emissions when generating electricity. Two, it has the ability to supply a constant stream of energy. And three, it can be scaled economically. Nuclear energy is the only energy source that meets all three criteria. Reflect on this anecdote. Germany is one of the most advanced countries when it comes to green energy. After the Fukushima meltdown, Germany decided to begin shutting down its nuclear plants due to public outcry. The result was that it turned to its only other reliable source of energy, coal. As a result, Germany's emissions have begun to increase. Nuclear has a bad rep. Maybe with reason, maybe not. But with no major incidents in Canada's nuclear track record, nuclear is worth thinking about. Energy Minute's goal is to foster science-based conversations about energy. If you enjoyed our video, please hit like, subscribe, and send us your feedback. We would love to hear it.